And a save there, and they score! So here's Lassen with a shot, and he scores! And he tries to walk in, he shoots and scores! Mustangs, draw first one! Teresi, gets a shot, and scores! 4-4! Oh. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoot, and he scores! And towards Cox, Cox gets a shot away, and Davis makes the save, no, it's in! Live from O'Brien Group Arena in Melbourne, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Owners. Owners are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider and APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. So it's the final weekend of the season and it's the Melbourne Ice hosting the CBR Brave. Just to summarise Melbourne Ice season, they couldn't be bothered putting the logo on. But for the CBR <laughs> Brave, it's an important weekend for them. If they get the full six points this weekend, they'll actually break Melbourne Ice's record from last season for most points in a season. Now, we're moments away from uh, the, uh, the presentation before the game in appreciation of the volunteers of the club. And we'll cross to centre ice. We'll help you find your seat, win raffles, answer your questions, and help you enjoy the game that little bit more. Tonight, we recognise our fantastic volunteers for making this year an unforgettable one for you, our fans. Please welcome to the ice your temper, Melbourne Ice volunteers. Introducing Tom Harwood, Sandy Gardner, Mark Smith, Josh Velez, Nicholas Allen, Laurie Jacques, Jacob Hock, Natalie Perkins, Cam Charter, Dale Ward, Erin Tempest, Beth Walker, Pratik Garud, Rachel Persinger, Andy McNamara, Mihir Upadaya, Van Nuyen, Lachlan Bell, Zuza Zaladny, Gracie Wananapop, Amanda Giuliani, Scott Johns, Alexander Tremarcus, DJ Ferris, um, Diana Tran, Jesse Keras, Janelle Johnson, Hayden Kay, Vijit Ruffy, Glenn Edgerton, Michael Gibson, Kelly DePozo, Jason Bajada, Chris Vergas, Sue Murphy, and Stu Walker. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front of the scorer's box and welcome Kidney Health Australia CEO, Dr. Lisa Murphy, to the ice for a ceremonial puck drop. Thank you very much, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem. Performing the anthem today is Kelly Del Pozo. So that's the end of the pre-game ceremony. And for those who aren't familiar, I'm, my name's Mike Clough, and I'm joined in commentary today by Jeff Coop, the voice of CBR Brave for many a year. <laughs> it's great to be here, Cloughy. So it feels a bit weird, I must say. And whilst I have been the voice of the Brave for a while, 
it's been interesting to see the ice always be that step above the brave for many years. And, and this year, it's completely different. They're it very feels different. weird. It feels really weird. And I, I just... I, I, this season has been weird. It has. And I, I don't think I've ever gone into a game at the O'Brien Group Arena where the Brave have felt like favourites over the ice. And, well, we're in the final weekend of the season and talking about things being weird, it's so tight at the moment, the ladder. Brave, while well, they top, wrapped up top spot ages ago, the Sydney Bears are wrapped up second. They play their last game today against the Mustangs. So Perth Thunder, they play Newcastle North Stars today, this weekend in the doubleheader. How crucial is that going to be? Perth Thunder can pretty much just split the points and they're in. The Melbourne Mustangs, they win today, will make life particularly difficult for the Sydney Ice Dogs, who um, really threw the Academy Bucks vision when they pants the Bears last night. They did. That was incredible. Kim shipping six goals in two periods yep. just before finals eve to play Aston Brooks last week against Adelaide and then Kimlin last night speaks a lot of what the Bears think they've got going forward and I think they've got that switch wrong and I, I think it's got it's blown up in their face uh, well, but that said dogs are playing for something so are the Mustangs yes, today they are. Uh, the Mustangs they've got a crucial game in Sydney today absolutely crucial and to think of where the Mustangs were and now where they are is just incredible. They've done it again, like they did last year. And so in moments away from the opening face of a welcome return, they're a welcome sight for Melbourne Ice fans. For the first time this season, Jason Backley is back in the side. He's been out through injury and he looks very happy to be out there. He'll be up against uh, one of the real fire, you know, firecrackers for the CBR Brave in, uh, in Chris Levier. But it's the uh, Melbourne Ice who win the opening face off. Pass. Finds Powell out towards Armstrong, looking for back league. Just over the top of the net. Powell's wrapped up, a little backhanded shot. Ice have been able to keep it in, but it's going to be turned straight over. So Channing Bresciani goes out wide. Shot there, and it's hey! in! So Chris Livier scores the first goal of the game. First blood there to the CBR Brave. They lead 1-0. Simple tic-tac-toe passing there for the CBR Brave. A quick transition. It's been the theme all year. The simple transition from the back to the forward zone. And, you know, it's been incredible what Levier's been able to do. He came late. The first game he played, he wasn't well. Great feed by Levier to Darge. Yeah, so it's Darge who actually got the tip. So, so Darge has equaled the uh, highest amount of points for a local player for CBR Brave. He's matched Casey Cabara's 2016 season with that goal. And it's been a real standout as well. So back to centre ice and another face-off. And this time it's won by the CBR Brave as Harvey. Been turned over. Corbett. And Nathan Kachia. He'll send that one into the corner. Well, tip there was just a little too high and wide that by Fleming, but a good idea. Puck's been turned over Mietten and stripped of the puck there by Nathan Kachia. Kachia up against Mietenen. Well, losing edge there was Kachia, and Mietenen wins the puck. So Dawes, been a revelation as a rookie this season. Been kept in now for the CBR Brave. Dawes with a shot, James with the save. So Michael James starting in net for the Melbourne Ice, but uh, the outlet pass only as far as Dawes. Now Mietinen. So Joey Hughes in his first game for the CBR Brave against the Melbourne Ice here at O'Brien Group Arena. And so far, it's a good homecoming. Eventually, the puck is cleared. Now Harvey is out with the rink wide pass. Allows the Brave to make a line change. Harvey will get it back. And he'll take the blue line. He's forced out wide. This is a nice setup now for the Brave. And James will make the save. The, the intensity from the Brave early on is something I, I, I have not seen for a very long time at this rink. They, they've come out firing fast, quick changes. The ice just look a step behind at the moment. And you, you, this charts down low. I mean, there's three players there against one. They probably should have buried that one. To probably. Be Brave have won the face-off, picked up here by the retiring Geordie Gavin at the end of this season. Rich Henning, who won the Braves Rookie of the Year award at their presentation night on Monday. Helps it round, finds Tyler Cabara. Uh, just looks for an option, then finds Gavin. Gavin gets harshly put against the boards. And for an old man, that one will hurt a little bit in the morning. Marcus Wong wraps it round. A young 
Maxime Schneider plays it up the boards. Nice go. All pass didn't get through, but it's picked up there by Schneider. Schneider will take it into the zone. Throw it on Hewitt. Hewitt will bat it wide. Picked up by Bresciani behind the net. And will look to start things. Hoddick on the four check, but he gets around him. And away goes Channing Bresciani. Bresciani will look to take the line. He will through a couple. Still going, Bresciani still going, but he loses control. Goes to the end. He picks it up behind, tries to play it into the slot area, but a loose pass and he's turned it over. Away goes Marcus Wong. Plays it across to Clark. Clark will get a shot, but easily saved by Hewitt. And wide. And goes Harvey, and Harvey shovels it out. And the Brave will pass it out away again. Here's Levier. Levier dumps it off. Gerling. Find Bresciani in the slot. Kept in the zone. Uh, Bresciani plays it back. Passing still working. Here's Harvey at the point. Plays it down low. Active sticks for the ice. Keeping the Brave from getting a surefire shot away. And they'll clear it away now through Clark. Clark will try and find Delsar in the corner. He and Harvey and Hewitt go at it. And Harvey will get this one out and away easily. Played up to Gerling, but he can only tap it into the corner where Jack Carpenter will pick this one up. He'll go across to Webster. Webster will play it up the boards to Armstrong. Armstrong tries to tip it to a friend in back league, but he could not get his first proper touch of the 2018 season. Gerling will go and get this puck, and icing will be washed out. Throws it into the centre. He had Olivier there for him. Picked up now by Harvey, then down low. But unable to control was Mietnan. And Armstrong will get this one out and away. Armstrong has the odd number rush here for the ice, but they can't find a chance at the back there. The ice, and per Daniel Goranson, deals with Armstrong. In the corner now, Powell. Powell gets tied up in amongst referee Jeff Klink, and Levier goes and tries to fish the puck out. And he works it out, and the Brave get this one out the far side, hicked up here by Harvey. Harvey will look to take the zone, and he will. He's got Vietnam with him. Vietnam comes off to Hughes. Hughes steps in, shoots, save by James. Hughes works it well. Yeah, Bresciani in the slot area. Spins away from Graham again. Still can't find Bresciani, though. Bresciani gets his stick to it, plays it down low. Doors and Bresciani collide. Falls out the back. Poke check there by Mietnan, but it's fallen out here for Armstrong. Armstrong two on two with Powell, but now the Brave get back. He goes wide, does Armstrong, and then loses control of the puck at the half wall. The Brave will force this one out and away, and they'll go the other way through the rookie doors. Hayden Doors shoots, and well saved there by Michael James. Seed it away. And out of the zone. And a two-on-one chance here for the ice. And a good save by Hewitt. Chance at the back. And Hewitt poke checks it away again. And a great pad save by Matt Hewitt. And the Brave will go the other way. Here goes Tyler Kabara. He's a one-on-three. But he's got a friend of Mietnan eventually. Plays it into the middle and nearly finds Mietnan. But he couldn't get there. There's Tyler Kabara. Kabara works it round. Tries to play it back to Mietnan but can't. And the ice will clear this one out and away. Picked up here by Bailey Kabara. And he plays it off the boards ever so slightly to his brother Tyler. Tyler couldn't get it into the zone. Puck works out far side. Goranson and Fleming, the 259s. Fleming tried to find a friend at the back, and he did through Chris Wong. And Wong has hit hard into the boards, but fairly in the end. Could have been horrible, that one. Here's Gavin. Tyler. Barra pushed wide, tried to centre it back up, does. Harvey had his stick affected the whole way, and so he wasn't able to get a shot away. Picked up here by Chris Wong. Fleming, but he couldn't get it out. Picked up here by Harvey. Harvey wheels around, waits, goes down, and the ice will get it out through Schneider. Schneider has been great to start, but he couldn't keep it there. Turn, ooh, fallen for Chris Wong, though. Tries to get it out the back, and I think that was Schneider who just couldn't get it off his stick. And down the other end. End-to-end -end hockey here. Still only 1-0 to the Brave. Carpenter. He plays it into the zone, but it's through everyone. Hewitt goes and plays it off the boards in the aggressive style that he has become known for this year. Icing washed out. Webster turns it over. Great work by Levier to keep it in the zone. Tries to wheel around and find a friend he can't. He's got Jimmy Byers at the blue line. He'll dump it to him and Byers will come in, but Byers can't control it properly. Girling behind the net. Girling has Hoddick for company. Works out the front. And Webster ensures that Michael James can make the save. And don't forget, you can tweet and get your tweet on screen. And uh, 
Use the hashtag AHL Game Day, and life can definitely be weird, but it's a quick start to the CBR Braves so far. So maybe the weirdness will just stop at Canberra, not necessarily involving teams from Canberra. Good start by the ice, though, after that goal. That has been a really positive start so far for the Melbourne Ice, and one thing for mine is... Uh, well, walking in there, the, the Brave nearly got an easy um, shot opportunity. But for mine, the Melbourne Ice have got to play the kids today. Um, so far, it's looked, so, it's looked good. We've seen Snyder as Levier just walks in, gets a shot away. The shot, though, was a little wide. Still another chance. And a save there by James. But um, yeah, to my point, you've seen Nathan Kachi get plenty of time. Yep. Snyder's seen a few shifts. I'd like to see um, even those fringe players, the line of Clark, Chai and Hottie, get basically be treated as the first line. Um, Christian Pansino would like to see get much more ice time than he did last week as well. It's all about next year right yeah. now. Well, Schneider's played well with the first few shifts he's got. He has looked positive. This is a good thing. And I think if you ask uh, Melbourne Ice fans who are really looking long term, the results this weekend, as much as I'm sure Melbourne Ice fans would like to deny um, CBR brave a chance to get the record um, season tally, um, it's now about making sure what's the future. Well, exactly. You know, you look at where the ice could go to next year. You've seen the Ice Dogs and the Bears rebuild from bad years and the North Stars to, to an even more aggressive point. That, that big franchise have an off year and then get better. And they get you're very aggressive in their recruiting, but the Brave win the, the face-off. <laughs> and that's what Melbourne Ice got to do it as well. Every well, they, team's got to do they, it. They have been out-recruited this year. Let's, oh, let's be honest. They've lost Joey Hughes. They lost basically Jason Backley, through. not through recruitment, but they, they never Agreed. replaced him. And the imports were probably, the, in terms of quality, were the eighth in the league. That's just... I, I, see, I think people have been very harsh on the imports. That's just me. Certainly not up to what we saw last year, no. but that was a rather unique situation. No. It should be said for the Melbourne Ice. So we actually have the puck now. So Graham. Well, attempted shot slash pass was blocked. Now Clark. And those players I mentioned like to see get plenty of ice time this weekend. Melbourne Ice will make a line change of Matt Harvey now. So a drop pass. Bresciani goes out wide. Dawes couldn't get, it, get the puck as Snyder got there first. He must be one of the biggest, oldest rookies I think we've seen in this league, apart from Zane Jones. Oh, he is. How old is he? Mid-20s, I do believe. But where's he been? Because he's been great this season. He's the CBR, been playing. Here's a chance now for Armstrong, but coming out is Hewitt. He's been in Canada. Oh, bad turnover. It is. Now it's Powell. Thought about the backhander attempt. Didn't work out, though, for the ice. Trevor Gerling talking about quality imports. There's one stretch pass. It's a beauty, oh, too. What a pass. Levy, oh, he shoots and a pad save there by Michael James. What a great setup there by the CBR Brave. Oh, oh no, it's all falling apart here. So now it's chance for Gerling. And oh. it's just wide. And Levy had a chance as well. What a save by Michael James. So Kabara, and that was Bailey Kabara at the point. Brave still in control of the puck. Just waiting. Oh, no. Now Darge with a shot, and that went straight into James, who made it a pretty easy save. The movement in the offensive zone by the Brave is something I don't think we've seen from the ice this year. This is a fantastic, great work by, well, I think that was Hoddick, uh, Marcus oh, Watt. Miss. <laughs> How did the Brave <laughs> not tuck that away? There was a 3 on no chance until Marcus Wong made the diving yeah. uh, diving poke check. Brave with the face off, but Levier couldn't control it. He's Webster shoveling it out and away, and there's a two-on-one chance here. If they can get the puck, but they can't. Harvey's there. Plays it to Per Daniel Goranson. And, oh, there's a chance here for the Brave. Waheed Darge has Levier. Gerling. Gerling fluffs it. Still going. James with the poke check. And Darge cannot get anything away. Gerling behind his own net. As players moving for him. Goes to the corner. Wheels around. A bad pass there. Turned over to Fleming. And Fleming is wiped out by his own player. in <laughs> Devon Crow. Crow turns the puck over at the blue line. Webster. Webster's has it poke checked away by Thief and the Night Waheeb Darge. Great pass to Gerling. Gerling, what a what? Scores! Trevor Gerling. Well, that's, that has to be said. That is just all round <laughs> terrible defence from the Melbourne Ice. Because that was the third opportunity with the headman that um, the Braver had. 
where they've been exposed defensively. Yeah. And the Melbourne Ice defence hasn't woken up to How it. How many times are you going to leave Michael James out to dry today? He's, if you're a Melbourne Ice yeah. defenceman, because at the moment it's been about eight or nine and you're lucky the score's only 2-0. You've got your two imports and Crow and Fleming running into each other at the blue line as you go in. That is that is symptomatic. And I know I've said this before when I've been in Goffey, but it's symptomatic of where the ice are this year. Absolutely. But the ice do win the face-off. It's in set in the corner. Good work there by Valise. Try to get it to the slot. Been turned over. And here come the Brave putting on the afterburn as Bresciani with the drop pass. Was probably a bit too clever for his own good on that occasion. Now Chris Wong. Chai winds up, shoots. And the shot was wide. Had a bit of mustard on that one. So Nathan Kachia. Tied up by Miettinen. Now Graham. Just flips it up high and it's going to be a foot race. And the battle in the corner. Chai's done well for the ice. Protecting the puck. Great work by Chai. But Joey Hughes wins it. And with a little deft touch finds Kai Miettinen. And Miettinen. Couldn't take it in the corner. Gets it back. Goes with the rink wide pass instead. Out towards Abresciani. Shani will wait for doors. Cheese, you'd nearly kick that in soccer style. Because <laughs> that's all. <laughs> that's all um, James needs <laughs> so far. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like that? It's Russell Lee, the CBR Brave, are just a will old machine this season. The ice are also playing. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's not wrong, Russell. Thanks for that. <laughs> three, minutes, no, three and a half minutes left in this one. Tyler Cabarro, aggressive the face off but he's turned it over and the ice have done well on these rush opportunities but they just haven't been able to put one away harvey finds gavin but gavin could control it and castelsar will take it away now he's got company but goranson meets him at the blue line and disposes of him in the puck good effort there by hodick i think it was but the ice just can't get something set up and the brave break out the other way and there's numbers gavin Nice pass, Tyler Kabara. He's got player with him. He goes himself, but he taps it wide. He had Henning with him if he wanted it, but Henning gets it in the corner, gets around one. Turns it over, and the ice will look to try and clear this one away. Jordy Gavin keeps it in. Gavin and Henning kick it to each other, and now Gavin will pick it up. No, he won't pick it up properly in the corner. Good work by the ice, and they'll shovel it out and away. Picked up here by the captain in Harvey. Goes wide to Bresciani. Backhands it to Harvey. And just slow into the zone. Henning dumps it over and around. Picked up here by Gerling. He had to put one away eventually with the number of chances he was given. Webster. Nice to look to play this one out through the middle. And they will through Carpenter and he beats away from Henning. Doesn't use Armstrong. Now he will. Armstrong to go and collect the puck. Gets away from Gerling. Spins away from another. Keeps it in the corner. Trying to find a passing lane. There's Armstrong, but he loses control. Played up. Can they keep it in? They can through Carpenter. Carpenter aggressively off the boards. Armstrong picks it up in the low corner. Bresciani ties him up. Backlick goes in there. Levier works it out, and the Brave can release. They will through Levier. Goes to Gerling. Gerling takes the line, tries to get to Levier, just snookers it forward, plays it off the back of the boards, wide to Bailey Kabara. Kabara backhands it back to Levier. Back to Darge, he shoots, but he breaks his stick. In spectacular fashion, it explodes almost. And the ice will throw it down through Armstrong. Had a bind by Hewitt. He won't miss that stick probably, Wahib. He's been local player about five weeks now this year. So he's got a collection of them <laughs> He's now. got a whole bunch of them from Skaters FX. Here's Bailey Kabara getting a nosebleed and taking the puck forward there. Flown out and a good pass there by the ice. They're away through Fleming. Dumps it back to Crow. Crow scoot. Just pushes it wide. Crow the only player to score a goal for the ice against the Brave this year. Here's Levier. Gets away from one. Steps in. Levier shoots. Off the pipe and away. Close by Chris Levier. The ice go the other way, but Corbett was unable to do anything effective with it. Kai Miettinen keeps it from going to the ice, and the Brave will try and tap this out, and it will eventually fall out to Harvey. He takes a good angle to the puck and goes through neutral ice. He's got a man next to him and Joey Hughes. Hughes 
taps it through the legs and was unlucky to be able to finish the play. Braves still have it. Dawes was waiting in the slot area. Hughes goes through the legs of another player, but again, can't finish it. And the ice go the other way through Corbett. Corbett has Fleming. Fleming take, takes a whack for his troubles, throws it through the slot area, falls out the other side. Hughes, 10 seconds remaining. Can the Brave do something here through Mietton? And he controls it. He winds up. Will he get the shot? He'll dump it off to Dawes, and that won't be the player that gets a goal that'll end this period. The ice will flick it out to centre ice, and that'll be the end of one here in Melbourne. Yeah, well, this um, first period, you've seen the difference between the clear top side of the ladder and the raging favourite for the Cup against the second bottom team of the ladder. Just yeah. the ability to transition the puck through the neutral zone. That The CBR brave lightning quick. That, They're spending yeah. barely any time in the neutral zone. Melbourne Eyes much slower in their build-up and defensively this has been caught with a pretty obvious tactic going the stretch past the headman. Melbourne Eyes were caught napping, they got exposed and probably in some ways it's Michael James has made sure the, the difference is only 2-0 at the end of the first period. It has and uh, I think the, one of the big issues for the Brave in the past, especially when they get to these big ice arenas, so they play on a fairly small it's one adapting. in camera, is adapting to a bigger neutral ice and so they're used to getting through neutral ice quite quickly. But here at the O'Brien Group Arena or away in Sydney, away in Perth, they've had so much trouble getting through the neutral zone. But, you know, here today, they're, they're not wasting any time, like you Absolutely. said. Absolutely. So to wrap things up, at the end of the first period is the CBR Brave, who are leading the Melbourne Eyes 2-0. We'll be back shortly with the second period of play.
Welcome back to O'Brien Group. We're in a second period of play in this final weekend of the AHL regular season. It's the top of the table, CBR Bray leading uh, the not top of the table, in fact, seventh place in letter, Melbourne Ice. Still seems weird, especially from last year. It does. And I, I, know, I know I've harped on about a bit, it, but from, a, from an outsider perspective... It's weird. The organisation, the Melbourne Ice, has always been sort of the benchmark. And now that the benchmark isn't the benchmark anymore... It's yeah, the CBR sort of, Bray. Let's not get too ahead of us. I've <laughs> got a couple of tweets here. You go. Oh, you season to forget for the eyes, uh, but long game in play. Oh, there you go. Thank you for your um, viewership over many years, Anthony. Been one of our biggest fans, and we appreciate the, your, the effort you make to watch Australian hockey as well from all the way in the UK. I will say uh, Matt Hewitt's parents are here today as well. They come over the way, all the way from Canada. Yeah, so they're uh, here for the weekend. And, and hopefully they're, they're here for next weekend. They are here for next weekend with the sojourn to Brisbane during the week. And why not get out of uh, potentially cold <laughs> Melbourne weather and go to the sun in Queensland? Makes sense. So now Channing Bresciani for the Brave. Just flips it up high. It's going to be a foot race. So we want to do Levier. He just storms in. Oh, good save. It was. But what an opportunity for the Brave. They're just so quick at the moment. That speed through the neutral zone you were talking about. No, they small. just bypass old neutral zone by flipping it up high. So battle along the blue line. But that is going to be deemed offside. Uh, now that you've mentioned it, it is something I've noticed through watching their games on the bigger ice is their neutral zone work through the different years. Matt Watts, the possibility of no Melbourne team being the Melbourne hosted finals. It can happen. It but could happen. It depends on today. But that said, the Mustangs currently are in the top four. And when you're talking about a final weekend where results matter, it's better to be in the top four or in the finals positions than to be outside relying on other results. Mm. So I think, yeah, for Mustangs, I think basically this weekend, if, they're, if they win a game, they're effectively in. So if they win today or well, tomorrow, they're in the, in the finals. As of three minutes ago at the end of one, it's one all between them and the Bears. So interesting there. I'll tell you what, the Mustangs will give it a shake too if they, they do qualify. But it's a chance there for the Braves. Look, back and a pass. Levier's shot was wide, but beautiful setup from the CBR Brave. I reckon maybe the Brave watched a bit of the Mustangs last week and said, anything you can do, we can do better. You'd like to think that the Brave... Well, the Mustangs have been the bogey team for the Brave this year. They they've, have. They're the only team to split a season, uh, season series with them. And they're playing some very good hockey, it should wow. be said, at the right time of the season as well, the Stangs. That's why they're going to be a real chance. But now Backley trying to get to the uh, top of the crease. Stripped the puck there by Bresciani. Now Trevor Gerling. So we've got two points tonight. So he temporarily holds the lead in AHL scoring. Looking for the tip there from Darge, but that came off the pads of James. Hit the back netting, we'll have a face-off. He does. He's got his 20th goal of the year, as does Waheeb Darge. As we see the two coaches there. And for, and for, for Rob Stark, the, the rebuild he faced last year, we, and, and, and he really walked into the club having to rebuild after the 2016 season to, to be where we are as, as a club. Excuse me for using the baby, but to be where the brave are, it's just incredible what he's been able to do over the two years. Master tactician <laughs> has been Rob Stark. He, he he really has. Brave look to work this through neutral ice, but they turn it over. Harvey stops it at the blue line. Hughes tries to get through Fleming there, but no dice for him. Crow, who missed last Sunday against Perth. Hughes tries to rob Graham of the puck, and he does so with his body and then he gets it out from underneath his feet great work Joey Hughes he had Goranson in the slot now tries to go down low that's Mietnan he's had a fantastic year as Mietnan Brave still just unable to get a surefire chance there's a shot but it was a stick lift on Harvey uh, Goranson sorry and Matt Hewitt a very active goaltender does love to go for a bit of a trip does the man they call Huey in the capital. There's the ice control it through neutral ice off the boards, but offside is called. Difficult for Crow to know where his teammates are when he is not facing. But yeah, Matt Hewitt probably does need to get active um, in this game because he hasn't had much to do otherwise. Um. No, he hasn't. He, he's taken himself out of two shutout opportunities this year, has Matt Hewitt. He's shared, shared the ice time, but he's he is, and I was just saying to his parents, he is by far and away the best goaltender I think I've seen in a Brave jersey. Yeah, I think him and Pickenham would be the two standouts. Um, I do remember that first season particularly well. Sort of set the foundation yeah. for the standards of goaltending we've seen in Canberra since the formation of the Braves. So Bresciani gets it out towards Gavin. Happy to send that one into the corner. 
Maxim Snyder went out towards Christian Pansino, one of his first shifts of the game. Now Bresciani. Last for the kids. Bucks being stripped away there by Pansino. Looking for Velez. Pansino gets it back. Couldn't find Velez. It's Tyler Cabara. Drop pass out towards Gavin. Shot there and saved by James. Nice looking to flip it out. And Byers couldn't keep it in. Jordy Gavin scored his first goal since 2015 last year, last week. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Right? Particularly, he plays as a forward. Yeah. It's been such a, a long gap. But um, I think him and Mark Rubikainen, they'll be um, hoping to finally raise the trophy this year. Well, Rubikainen is the only player not to have a point for the Brave this year. Everyone else has a point except Rumer. And you mentioned Jordy Gavin is retiring this season. And I'm assuming, particularly if they win the Cup, I think Mark Rubikainen might hang up the, the skates as well. He may, he's a crucial leadership cog around the team. And he was very active on the bench when he was out with that injury he suffered last year in Newcastle. Oh, no. And had to make a speech, which we will do. I I we all felt yeah. sorry for when he had to do that. So now it's uh, Del Sar for the ice. It's Bresciani. Having to play that one along the boards. Girling had it, lost it, been turned over. So Clark gets a shot away in Hewitt. In one of his first saves for quite some time. He gloves it, we'll have a face-off. Interesting to see with uh, 11 minutes left in this period, if the Brave are going to start to really turn the screws. They're still not playing, and as scary as this is to say, they're still not playing to their full capacity. No, the they moment. seem to be playing within themselves. Um, but the motivation really for the Brave in this one, not only to collect the points, but to come out, no injuries, oh. no suspensions, work on systems. Here's a Drop great pass. chance there for Levier. And a save by James, who has looked good tonight, despite the scoreline. Well done for Levier to keep that in at the line. So Darge, out to Atavi, just winds up and shoots. To Goranson to the slot and the ice is clear, but only as far as Matt Harvey, the captain. Now Goranson looking for the tip. The Hodick. Webster's there, is there for the ice as well. Olivier. The Brave just looking for chinks in the Melbourne ice uh, armour right now. It's going to be flipped up high by Mirton and the ice will clear. But only as far as Harvey. Now Levier, go for the shot himself. The shot was wide, came off the boards. Levier nearly swooped on his own rebound. And now Carpenter for the ice. It's out towards Powell. To Goranson. Leaves it now for Harvey. Stretch pass. And Levier. Pass out wide to Levier. Looking at his options. He's waiting for a trailer, but there's none forthcoming. Eventually one does, and the save has been made on Harvey's shot. Fantastic from James again. The great patience there by Levier as well. He, he just waited. He makes his own time. He does. Looking at him today, probably the second chance I've had a good look, have a look at him. He's um, got a lot of time and a lot of space to play with there. Talking about a man who has plenty of time and space on his hands, Joey Hughes. Oh, pass. To the slot. The shot, though, by Mietzen and was wide. So Hughes. Only Joey Hughes could make that kind of pass. Absolutely. I think the biggest disappointment for Joey Hughes is he's not getting any freaking fly points from this weekend. <laughs> or next weekend either. So Hewitt thought about skating the puck out himself there for half a second. The pass finds Dawes. Dawes driving to the net. Goes for the pass, looking for the tip there from Hughes. The pass, while well, in, in the end, Powell decided not to play it. He's making his way to the bench as uh, Mietin will send that into the corner. And James will come out of his crease. We'll leave it for Nathan Kachia. Back out towards Corbett. And Graham. So Graham looking for Corbett. Couldn't find him. To Kabara. Lost now Fleming. Stretch pass looking for Crow. Bailey Kabara left the puck behind. Had plenty of support, though. And now Mitch Henning trying to cut his way through. Fleming, no-look pass, only found Bresciani. 
Oh, the spin. And he works his way through. Goes for the pass. What a beautiful setup by the CBR Brave. Geordie Gavin scores. They lead 3 0. Geordie Gavin, two goals in two weeks. I don't think we've seen that for a very long time. But the work was all made by Channing Bresciani in the middle. The spin and the work through. He is one of the best D men this year in the AOHL. And I never understood why he would be sit as a, uh, sat as a fifth import. And they sat him as a fifth import against the Mustangs down here uh, earlier in the season. Yep. And it all fell apart. He is a crucial cog down back. And his ability to change the game for the Brave from defence to attack in a snap. And what he saw there was uh, the Melbourne Ice defensively, they were not skating or skating the wrong way. Exactly. He saw the opening and them capitalised. The Brave now three to the good. Out wide. Now look to pile it on. Shot seen away. There was a man on the doorstep there. It was Darge. Marcus Wong now will look to try and clear danger. He'll only get it as far as Mitch Henning. Players arriving everywhere for the Brave. Time being made. Pass out wide. Gerling shoots, but shoots wide. Levier now. Goes out to Goranson. Works it around. Gerling. Gerling around and breaks a couple of ankles from Schneider. But it doesn't work out kindly. And the ice go the other way through Chai. Chai is sandwiched and... Has his stick affected on the way, and that's for Les. Les now taps it back. Girling gets in the way of Chai trying to get through and create something. Up the boards it goes, and away go the Brave again. There's a wide option in Darge, but they try to go up the line to Levier. Harvey now comes and picks it up, gives it off to Girling. Girling has Levier if he wants, dumps it off. Levier around, but he couldn't get a pass away. Still gets it away, chance at the back Darge. Shot comes in, but it hits the side netting. Girling. Just hold it. Levier trying to work into a spot. So is Darge. Men on either post for the ice. So they'll go out to Goranson now. Goranson goes cross ice. Harvey works it around. Levier. Levier goes to the line. Tries to nurse it way to Gerling. To the middle. Shot by Goranson. It's deflected wide though. The work by Levier. Chance in wide. Harvey, but he puts it high. Bounces off the back, and James has to make sure that it doesn't bounce into a brave player, and down the ice it'll go. And icing will be called 5.55. The, the time, and I don't want to seem like I'm going to harp on and be like this all game. <laughs> I, know, I, know what, I know what will be said, but the time the brave are creating in their offensive zone. I think it would, actually. <laughs> I think the Swedish meatballs would help, Link. Absolutely. And, uh, but... They're so comfortable at the moment, the CBR Brave. Their defensemen were in the low slot. Well, that was, they weren't was even bothering covering. It was in the low slot there. They weren't even bothering covering the blue line. They, that's how confident they are with, with where the game's at right at this moment. This is a danger spot here because Chris Wong hasn't been allowed off and he looks gassed. So the ice will be looking to clear as quick as they can, but to do so, they need to win the face-off. In fact, uh, even Jeremy Chai, who's going to take the face-off, he's looking um, pretty gassed oh. himself and is happy to actually waste some time so they could all take a breath. I think um, full credit to Melbourne Ice for the delaying tactics on that one. Well, they haven't got it out, though. No, they haven't. It's tied along the half wall. You'd be brave to make a change here. And they won't be able to. Byers had it, then lost it. Just got stuck. The Snyder up against Hughes. And in the end, the youngster is uh, completely undressed, uh, Joey Hughes, on that occasion. If he does nothing else, you'll be able to tell that to the grandkids. <laughs> so Bresciani. To Hughes, to Byers, gets a shot away. And James had little trouble covering that one. We'll have a face-off with 5.20 remaining. Byers hasn't been able to play all the games this year for the CBR Brave. And, and for, a, for a while there, it was much of an issue because the Brave were very short on D-men. But you look at what he's been able to add when he's come in. He is very clearly a player who is reaching that form when he went away with the Australian team a couple of years ago. Yes, absolutely. Hughes in the face-off dot against the ice, and he's aggressive on that win, but he turns it over to Cass Delsar. And Rob Clark will go the other way. I wonder if Delsar and Joey, if Jimmy Byers will swap medical notes later. We'll have to wait and see. Brave trying to work it out. There is Byers with Sam Hoddick. Hoddick and Byers get tied up together. Joey Hughes runs into trouble away from Cass Delsar, and he backhands it out to Mietna. Mietna off the boards, and... The Brave clear the zone. That's honestly been one of the big areas the Brave have been able to beat the ice is their clearance of the zone. Absolutely. And 
there, you know, the ice are just about to turn this over in neutral ice. When the Brave go forward, they're, not, they're keeping the puck. Dawes is so damaging, he's gotten rid of Rob Clark's stick as well as taking the puck into the zone. Vietnam backhands it, but not as well as the man he's given it to in Hughes. But Hughes' pass is not found a brave player. The way go the ice through Clark and now Carpenter. Carpenter stick handles and has it poke checked away. Hughes gets in on the secondary attempt and the brave go the other way through Dawes. Dawes has men arriving late. He'll take it into the middle. Goes it off to Mietnan. Mietnan shoots and shoots wide. That was a little too pedestrian there, particularly defensively from the Melbourne ice. Mietnan could just stroll in. Very, very easy. Harvey. He's loose with his clearance though. Picked up in the middle by Goranson, who's been a fantastic acquisition for the Brave this year. His clearance is knocked down in neutral ice. Picked up now by Tyler Kabara. Kabara tries to go through a couple. Plays it off the boards and gets checked for his troubles. Goranson. Nice pass. A nice movement. Goranson's pass, though, through the slot area was picked off easily. And the ice go the other way. Armstrong has men in the middle. Shot will get away, but Hewitt sees it away with his stick. Kabara tries to shield the puck and does. Falls out to Graham, but he's shot softly, uh, shot softly knuckles. Get that out. Knuckles down into the slot area. Picked up by Harvey now with a bit of speed. Gets around a couple, still going Harvey offside. It's cool. Shot softly knuckles through. Yeah, could you translate that thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Scott Stevenson, great to hear. <laughs> oh, Scotty. What was soft knuckling or whatever you were trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. So neutral zone face off and uh, the Brave win it to Bresciani. He's taken down. Now Wahib Darge flips it up high. Oh no! Oh, no, Kachia nearly just to concede an own goal. Melbourne Eyes got to get away with that one. So Corbett, who has been a standout for the Melbourne Eyes this season. But it's been turned over. Olivier trying to work his way through. And gloving that one will be James. How quick is Olivier's hands? Yeah, quick with hands, quick with um, feet. That's um, a very dangerous uh, cocktail there. Here we go. Kachi is just waving the stick madly just to try and get any sort of plan. Oh, very lucky that Girling didn't tap that home. Absolutely. So it's going to be a face-off attacking zone four. The CBR Brave, who win the face-off. Bresciani sends that one into the corner. To Girling, backhanded pass. It's come unstuck. So Kachia. It's going to be played there by Hewitt. I think the brave half expecting an icing call, but none was forthcoming. And now Darge. Defensive blue line. He'll go backwards. He gets it back. And now Girling. Puts on the afterburners. Just trying to cut his way into the... Uh, the the slot. Now Fleming for the ice. The stops, waits for the trailer, couldn't find him. And the Brave were able to clear here as Marcus Wong will have it now. He plays it off the boards. And that is going to be an icing call. And uh, there's a few Melbourne Ice players there who are looking, as uh, you mentioned earlier, looking gas. Uh, I know Devon Crow is one of them. There's a bit of tightness out there. I'm going to say it again. The Brave are not playing to their full potential. The, uh, the, the passes playing, are not sticking. But they're playing within themselves. I think you get the feeling they're now feeling pretty comfortable where the game's at and they're starting to experiment yeah. a little. I, I know that this week doesn't necessarily matter too much as opposed to next week, but you still want to see them play good hockey. You don't want to have any bad habits sneak in. We're in the corner. Hughes. Hughes had Goranson working. He works out in front, misses the shot, though. Big air swing. Didn't need to get any colder in here. Goranson. He'll nearly lose an edge trying to get round. Goes to Hughes. Hughes might try the, to work his way in front again, but there's enough ice players there to discourage him. He's got Goranson for help if he wants. He wheels away. Then centers the back up. Shot comes in and just wide. Tap in, chance down low. And that was Dawes who couldn't put it home. And he slams his stick on the ice in anger. Hughes, though, keeps it in the zone for the Brave. Down the corner. Just sources it down low. Mietnan. Plays in down low and a great block there by Wong. A secondary good save by James. And it's out and back here for Devin Crow. Crow now. He tries to get round. But 
Harvey gets in the way. And the Brave go the other way. Hughes. Hughes gets away. Loses the puck. Picked up. Worked out the back. Doors. Holds. Out the back. But he couldn't find Hughes. Hughes and Wong. And Wong is able to backhand it away. And turning around. Going the other way of the ice. Whacked it, though, at the blue line by Goranson. And it's down into the ice zone. And, oh, bad turnover. There's Levier in the dot, but he couldn't find it. Works it down low. The Brave just playing a bit loose. Schneider whacks it out and around. Takes a ride off the boards. Were they going to wave off icing? They are going to. And the linesman closest to us here in our commentary position was not too happy about it either. Working into the zone, the Brave. Fantastic work by Gerling, but he holds the puck, tries to backhand it to Darge, works into the middle, Levier can't tuck it home. Picked up by Bresciani. Eight seconds to go. Gerling will step in, he'll fire, he'll shoot, and a good save by Michael James with four seconds remaining. Yeah, Michael James clearly beating the Melbourne Ice's best player so far tonight. He's, He's had a big evening. Been the only player, really, hasn't he? Absolutely. See the Melbourne Ice bench there compared to the CBR Brave one. Who's looking at the CBR Brave bench looking very calm at the moment. Uh, so I, I think, think they're I th in a pretty comfortable place. But right I think now. they know where they're going and what they've got left to work on. And so four seconds left. Chance still to score. Girling delayed. Had to poke checked away from him. And that will probably be it. The shot comes in. James makes a save. Although I think that would have been too late anyway. But the CBR Brave are looking comfortable with a 3-0 lead. Only one tacked on in that period. And they are, they have not played. That was not their best period of hockey by far. And it looks like they are trying to experiment and try things. But at the same time, that's not how Rob Stark wants this weekend to work. He's brought the full squad down unlike what he did last year in, in this corresponding fixture. And he wants them to play like they're going to play next weekend. You've, got, you've, got, you've basically got two extra training sessions on this big ice. But the question is, can the opposition play like the teams next week? Well, the, play? This, is, this is one of the better ice performances I think I've seen all year. And I think it, it, with the ice, they are playing up to a far better opponent. That is that is obvious, as we see Darcy Flanagan doing some laps here. Just to remind everybody, hey, I used to play a few guys <laughs> next year. <laughs> but to wrap things up, at the end of the second period, it is the CBR Brave who currently lead the Melbourne Ice three goals to nil. We'll be back shortly with a third period of play.
So welcome back to our Brian Group Arena. Third period of play. The CBR Brave lead the Melbourne Eyes three goals to nil in what has been a pretty, pretty clinical performance so far from the Brave as well, the top of the table. One of those goals was, in fact, um, scored by Geordie Gavin as well, as we can see in the tweet here. Not a bad goal from old man Gavin. <laughs> that's uh, that's Shawnee, his partner. And as you can see here, just, just for Shawnee, just for our own enjoyment, there you go, buried it right in the back of the net. Lovely goal from the CBR oh, Brave. Yeah. Yeah, Geordie may be old in years, but he still looks like a top 10 model. I, Something I can, I, I can say one of those old in years, but not a top 10 model. <laughs> You're half a Geordie Gavin. Yeah. A <laughs> um, couple of things to clear up. Mark Rumekainen is re-signed for the 2019 season. So he will play on. And the Bears lead the Mustangs 2-1 at Sydney. They do. And that's got major implications for the, um, the makeup of the finals. This game doesn't, as the CBR Brave are already locked up top spot and did it long ago. Melbourne Ice won't be competing in the finals for the first time since 2005 which I believe we are talking earlier, Jeff, uh, was the last time that a Canberra-based AHL team finished out of the ice, and that's a lovely save there, and the shot by Kai Mietney by Michael James. Yes, the last time a Canberra franchise, Knights or Brave, finished above the ice was 2005. The Knights finished fifth, and the ice finished sixth. The only other time it happened was 2002, where the Knights Melbourne finished fifth, finish and the ice finished sixth. And the two years between that, they flipped positions. Because yeah, they were the era where, well, Melbourne Ice weren't making finals, and the Camera Knights never did. No, the Camera Knights, they got close a couple of times, but never fully there. Well, here's a chance now for Gerling. Fire shoots, and it's a Fantastic. nice glove save there by Michael James. A bit of repeat of the other shot. He has been outstanding tonight. And the three goals aren't representative of the way he has played. No, he's had plenty of um, shots to face as well so far tonight, and plenty of quality shots. At the end of the second, it was 20 to 8, the shot count. Yeah, I would, I and, would agree with that. Uh, you have to say, it feels like he's made more than 17 saves. So Bresciani looking there for the tip from Darge. And well pass in the end, not trapped by Bresciani. Girling have to go back and retreat puck. So Mietan and pass was wide of its target. And Bailey Cabara able to play that one off the boards. Stretch pass is a good one. Finds Darge, drops it now for Girling. Girling shot well wide. So Kabara, that's Bailey Kabara, and an open net, and just hit the side of it there. So an opportunity loss for the Brave by Girling. Now the eyes have it. Pass finds Armstrong. Armstrong looking at his options, finds back league. Leave it now for Graham. Graham slowly trying to work his way through the CBR Brave defence. Fires well. A bit of a Hail Mary shot. Hewitt had no problems with that one. We'll have a face-off. Got to do a bit better to beat Matt Hewitt this year as teams have found out. He just can't lob it on him like that. He's one of those goalies that you've really got to get some traffic working in front of him. And if you don't Much have like that traffic... Much like in that regard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's now 3-1 to the Bears in Sydney. So the Mustangs, with the finals hopes in their hands, are trying to do their best to hand them away as Harvey hands the puck to Levier. Levier taps it deftly to Joey Hughes. A bit of a line shake up there. Hughes now tries to go through. Still going Joey Hughes. Round the net. Tries to play it off the back but can't. And the ice hole oh, will nearly turn it over. Still working hard there are the Brave. Doors. And the arm is up. There's That's a high, a high stick. stick. Who's he called it on? It looks like he's going to call it Olivier. It's our first penalty of the night. It is, which is amazing for a Melbourne Ice CBR Brave game. Don't see a stick high anywhere. Has he called it on the? He's called it on the ice. Nate Fleming's going to sit oh, again. I, gee. Okay, so it was sort of Fleming on Levier, but even then, it's hard to see ah, where that one came gee. from. Jeff Clink referees very good games, but I'm sorry, Jeff, I just don't see that one. But that said, he is much closer to the action than we he were. So. Is, and he's a lot more learned than we are. Fan, uh, face off is won by the Brave and they set up for the power play for the first time today. Bresciani goes across to Gerling. There's Bresciani at the blue line. Bresciani will shoot, knuckles its way through, seen wide by James. Picked up now by Levier. Kneels around, controls it. Just backs away, looks to 
try and find a way through. Down, down, goes down low, goes to the other side. Darge, looking around Gerling. Gerling throws it down low and it's deflected back out now to the zone and the Brave will have to reset. Here's Darge, the Brave did reset. Darge now, Darge goes around the back. He's got Levier out here. Levier has no one working for him in the middle. So he has to hold it at the wall. Bresciani at the blue line, winds up, shoots, tip, scores! Waheeb Darge, and it's four for the Brave, two for Darge on the Knights. Wow, well, that was a little bit easy in the end, but um, just a perfect setup from the CBR Brave once again. It was a case of just waiting, 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 and um, see the pass here, but leaving Waheeb Darge, and that pass by Bresciani was deliberately looking for the tip for Darge. Graham was three steps behind, not yeah. even trying. Can't leave a player of that quality that open, that close to your net. And one of the big knocks on the Brave this year has been their, their power play. And it hasn't been as good as previous years. But if you're going to play slow and wait for the wait for the right pass, it's going to work out in the end. Good things will come. So Harvey send that one into the corner and James will come out of his crease. Webster. The Carpenter. Now Chris Wong. Set up by Goranson. He's going to call Goranson here for the interference, yeah, I think. Yeah, he is too. Didn't say a huge amount in that one, but that said, uh, you already had disposed of the puck, so you could say it was a bit late. I'll see it here. In fact, he did, he yeah. did dispose the puck long, yeah. longer, but he That's was also fair. committed to the hit. So, overall, a fair call. And then Melbourne Ice, a chance for their first power play of the night. And if you've had one good thing to say about the Ice this year, it's their power play. It hasn't been too bad. 17.03 left in this one. What, can the ice get something? Can Devin Crow be... He's not out there. Devin Crow's the only player to score against the Brave this year for the ice. Oh, a good chance someone else to actually get themselves on the scoreboard. So Webster. Fires up against Backlig. Backlig wins out now Armstrong. To Webster at the blue line. Couldn't get a clean shot away. He was winding up. Brave clear and James now will leave it for Webster. Webster finds Powell. To Hewitt. Uh, probably play that a little too aggressively. Here's a chance for Carpenter. But great work by Hewitt to recover. Gee, it looked like Hewitt had a bit of a brain fade there. Now Gerling out wide and the CBR oh. Brave have buried another one. Short. Matt Harvey, and that was, in the end, a little too simple. Short-handed goals have been a massive part of the CBR Braves 2018 season, and they created a two-on-one breakaway on the penalty kill. The turnover here, the tap forward by Daj, and away goes Gerling, and there's a lot of speed in this Brave team. Gerling's one of them. He's got Harvey with him, who's not known for his speed, and much like the Geordie Gavin goal in the second there, you weren't going to miss that. It'd be fair to say James was uh, pretty much hung out to dry yeah, on that occasion. Yeah. You feel sorry for a goalie like Michael James tonight who has done his hardest to do everything to keep his team in this one, and they do that to him. So now Graham. Sends a deep Mark McKinnon with one of his first shifts of the night. Dalsa had his birthday yesterday. But unfortunately, hasn't got any presents so far tonight. Delsa looking for Clark, couldn't find him. Fleming will go back. Now towards Graham, takes the blue line, but he's going to be tied up there. Along the half wall, Graham's done well. So Hoddick in possession of the puck. Delsa. Out to Hoddy again, gets a shot away. Hewitt with the save. Dalsar swooping in. Graham. In the game of patience. Dalsar should probably go back out towards Graham, but he'll hold on to the puck. Eventually will find Graham. The fire net looking for a tip. Here's a chance out for the ice. Hoddy, though, couldn't get over the top of Hewitt. And the CBR Brave have killed the penalty. The Fleming. Back out towards Graham. The Fleming well, got away with that one in the end. Too clever for Levier. The Graham pinching in. Had the puck, lost the puck, got the puck back. 
Looking for Velez. He wasn't aware of the situation. Here's a chance now for Kobe Ettenen. He'll drive towards the net. Oh. Gets a weak shot and it's going to be tipped in. The CBR Brave get another goal. Chris Levier scores. Kaimi Ettenen has gone away there, but you've got to take your hat off to Michael James there. He is despondent in the Josh Eunice pose on the ice there. The Josh Eunice pose, I like that one. Away goes Mie Ettenen, and Mie Ettenen gets away from Del Sarisi. Well, that's a fantastic save. That's a fantastic save. But what it is is also not good. You might even see that build up again defensively. There was nothing going on for the no. ice. <laughs> It's uh, the, the defence has checked at the door, I think, to start the third here, to say, to say the least, for the... And I don't, I don't, I'm not piling on. That, that, was, that was poor. No one was getting back. No, absolutely. 100% correct, Jeff. And uh, Melbourne Eyes do win the face-off. The battle behind the net. Yeah, let's now have it through Josh Velez. He's lost the puck. has been turned over. His chance now for the Brave. They'll be looking to move the puck quickly through the neutral zone, and they do. A foot race between Henning and Kachi. Kachi's done well for the Melbourne Ice, but he's corralled there by Gavin. So experience wins out over youth. Couldn't find Henning on that occasion, Gavin. A model four check there by Gavin. Oh, a model from Maggi. <laughs> Twelfth man reference for those who can't <laughs> remember him. Ooh. And we're going to have a stop in play. Chris Wong hit the boards hard there at the end there. He did. And it looks like it's going to be Bailey, Bailey, ba Bailey's yeah, Bailey going to go. heading towards the penalty box. You see it here. Yeah, it just hooks him. Yeah. Oh, that knee from Wong as well. I think the noise was probably more Bailey hitting the boards than anything. It was. And clear penalty. All of a sudden, we're getting a few penalties coming into yeah. this game. It's broken open a little bit. Just a tick under 14 left in this one. And Goranson will get sent back to the bench for the late change. Don't get the first uh, last change this week for the Brave. Dawes has to go back out there. It's, he's swapping Goranson for Dawes. It's not too much of a change. Face off one by the ice, but it'll be Harvey who'll tie it up there with Armstrong. And then Hughes comes in for company. It squirts its way out to the point. Wrapped around the boards. Powell will try and get there first. He will, but he'll... Squirt it back out to the dot. Here's a chance down low, but rejected there by Harvey. Back to the corner. Pow. Just holds. Trying to work down low. The ice. There's a chance in front, and Hewitt will control it as it works in front into his blue paint. And just checking the scores at Macquarie. At the moment, the Bears, at the end of two periods, lead 4-1 over the Mustangs. Game. Making the finals calculations really interesting. Grizzly, CBR, Kaimi Etnam with the one-handed deke. A bit too much NHL right, uh, 18 right. Levier with the tap in after James made the first. Uh, yeah, the guy's probably played a bit too much Chell of recent. <laughs> a bit too much Chell. Shot will come in from the blue line. Jumps up in the dot. The Brave will... They'll work this one away, and their icing won't be a thing here for them, so Levier will continue with an aggressive forecheck, but Carpenter will work it round to Webster. Webster gets it back to Carpenter, and they play a bit of pitch and catch with Joey Hughes, Piggy in the middle. Armstrong now, wheels around, through neutral ice, takes his own. There's a chance out wide, back leak with the drop pass, but he couldn't find Powell, and Brave will play it off the boards and away. James taps to Carpenter. Just under a minute left in this power play for the ice. The second of the game in the period. And just trying to get the lines working. Just trying to get something set up. Here's Darge. Darge wheels away. He plays it parallel to the blue line. What a move, Trevor Gerling! What a goal, Trevor Gerling! Me, oh my, yes, I have enjoyed that. Trevor Gerling makes it six, seven. Yes, seven. seven. seven Touchdown for the Brave. But ju you just look at this. this wow. Is, there was no defence there from the Melbourne Ice at all. It was it was all over the place. And, and Gurley's a great player, but no player in this league should be able to walk in like that and score. And uh, looks like Melbourne Ice bringing more of the youth, and I think they've got it now. 7 0, 12 minutes to go. Pretty much run the youth. The veterans are there just purely as relief. See what they can. See because at the moment, it's the veteran uh, players who really aren't 
aren't performing I'm, this third period. I'm surprised Todd Graham's still out there because he has not had a good period. He has not at all. Now Pansino gets the puck from the face-off. To Graham, out towards Pansino. Happy to flip that one up. So Hewitt will come out of his crease. Pass away just in time, kept in by Graham looking for Pansino. Trying to get back out towards Graham. Graham into the corner. Scott Corbett looking for Pansino. So these two players at very different stages of their career. Now the Braves should be able to clear through Darcy Flanagan, one of his first shifts for the night. So what have the Brave got so far tonight? About two shorthanded goals. That's the second shorthanded goal of the night, yes. And a power play goal. And a power play goal. So the special teams are working for the CBR Brave tonight. Scott Corbett consoling Michael James there. Link saying, feeling awful for Michael James. Zero defense for him. He can't do everything. That's right. He's actually had a, he's had a really good night. The scoreboard won't show that. Um, history won't won't show that in terms of statistical numbers, but uh, you could see Kerry Price or any Glenquist in there, and they'd probably still concede a couple tonight. <laughs> there's only so much a goaltender can do when he's being let down consistently by the players in front of him. Well, there's only so much a goaltender can do when literally no one gets back to help him. And they're away again here. Here's another two-on-one breakaway. Bias is going to get in there now. Jimmy Bias for the tip, but it's... Pass from Dawes could not get there. Here's Kabara and he throws it in and James sees it away. Fires Dawes, right down low. Controlled here by Pansino. Corbett tried to tip it into the zone, could Flanagan kept it away. Dawes will try and calm things down for the Brave. He'll try and escape the forecheck there of uh, Corbett and Will. Flanagan. Flanagan spins into trouble and then spins again into trouble and he's turned the puck over to Castelsa Kaimi Etnan tries to come out and help and Matt Hewitt plays his own defence and Pope checks it away to safety. Brave try to get it out through doors, now heading and Etnan takes centre ice and throws it down Long backhands it out, Hoddick another one of those kids you've called for Cloffy. Well he's been a third liner and I think they need it would be too bad the third line is for Melbourne Ice. See, they need to be given the chance of responsibility to basically be the first line to see how they go against the best in the competition. Oh, big hit, Cass Delsar! Massive hit, Delsar on Bresciani. It's clean. Here's Goritson from the blue line. His shot's wide. Gavin on the follow-up, but he can't tap it home. Maybe a big Cass Delsar hit can wake the ice up. From their third period slumber. Goritson. Goes Bresciani. Bresciani goes through a couple. Still going Bresciani, but he couldn't tap it home. Gavin got in the way. Still controls it. He still has time to find a free player in the slot. But the shot is wide by Tyler Kabara. Worked out to Bailey Kabara. He works around. Then he works around another couple. He's got two more to deal with, and those two are too much. Nice will go up. The far side through Delsa. Lays it in for Clark, but Goranson is in front. Bresciani with a bit of open ice, leaves it for Henning. Henning's got speed to burn the young Queenslander. Henning trying to get round, still going, works in front, but the ice are able to see it away. And now they have a bit of speed here through Velez. And Velez still going, tries to play it into the slot area, but no one's there for him. Kept in, hard hit by Dawes on Carpenter, and he gets up okay. Turnover by the Brave, and Hewitt tries to trap it with his blocker. It works, squirts out the other side, and Webster will pick this one up. His pass skips over the stick of Velez. So Bresciani will go and collect this. Velez will have it for company. Plays it behind once, and the center ice pass is loose. Webster tipped in by Wong, but he's impeded. Tries to work it through there, but can't. Playing around with it was Bresciani. He takes a puck up high, but his body is used to block it from going any further. They wheel around through Chai. Chai loses an edge and loses the puck, and away go the Brave again. Pass out to Dawes. Dawes tries to go through Levier to get to Hughes, but can't. Levier goes down low to Dawes. Dawes plays it back. Levier, but the shot is seen wide by James. Flanagan plays it down low. Levier plays it back. Dawes and Chris Wong. There's a size mismatch. Hughes. Levier. 
Wheels around, backhand spinorama pass to Flanagan is loose and he has to go back and neutralize and collect. Raise it up the boards to Dawes. Dawes loses control and he turns the puck over. A bit of speed here, but they've turned it back over the ice. Tapped around there by Backlick was Hughes. And it'd be a bit weird for those two to see each other on opposite sides. Away goes the brave through Levier. Levier gets the shot, but it's seen wide by the pad of James. Levier gets his own rebound. Behind the net, still going Levier. Still going Levier. Still Levier. <laughs> Now he hands it off to Harvey. Harvey winds up but hits the netting high near the bar. You could argue that he stoppage. wasted a bit of an opportunity there, Matt Harvey, as well. It's a nice setup by Chris Livier. And the 2018 AHL Final Series, presented by Ken, hosted here at O'Brien Group Arena in Melbourne, takes place on the 1st and 2nd of September. Get your tickets at ahl.net slash 2018 AHL Finals. I believe Canberra, the Brave fans have probably grabbed at least one bay, if not more. I know the Bears have got, um, they're, they're organising to get a lot of seats in Bay 4 as well. Bay 2 and 3 are where the Brave are so far. And it's it a bit of Bay 5 weekend. as well, I've been told. Should be a great weekend. Should um, be a fantastic weekend. Finals weekend always is. And just because the Brave have had the season they've had and they'll go in raging favourites, um, oh, they are no certainties. No. They've got to perform two games in a row and they're the team with everything to lose. So the other teams can play with a little bit of freedom. As Kachir gets a shot away, doesn't get too, hasn't had too many shots uh, this year. Took three attempts for the Brave to win on a Saturday at finals. Yeah. Had two Sunday attempts now. And the Perth Thunder will be um, looking to win a semi-final. Something they haven't done in four attempts. So um, they still got to technically make it. Yeah, te <laughs> they do. <laughs> that game's uh, I think probably just starting now. And that crucial first of the doublehead against Newcastle North Stars. Now Carpenter fires and shoots, and a save made there by Hewitt. Yetinen in the corner. Melbourne Ice looking to make a line change. And here come the Brave, but the pass just couldn't connect. It's Dave Lewis out there for his first shift. And uh, if the Brave do win, that's going to be, I uh, think, that might, might be a first in AIHL history. You know, about good little cup We've got father and son winning the cup sure together as players. First. Jaden is on the bench. I think Jaden's had a shift tonight as well. I don't think our father-son come over remember playing together. There's a save there by Hewitt. Um, Milan and Nick Novosik said that. We're yeah. both dressed in the same game as goaltenders for the Blue Tongues. They actually two games. Milan played the first, Nick played the second. Nick would have been very young, for sure. Yeah, about 16. That's the only father-son come over I can remember. So Henning. He also his own. Talking a while ago because you've mentioned the... Uh, the Blue Tongues franchise there. Yeah, it was probably about 10 years ago. Maybe or maybe bet eight. For Rumakainen. Now for the Brave. Kept in by Pansino. Hewitt comes out of his crease aggressively. But before uh, Corbett now, it's Carpenter. Webster. Trapped by Corbett. Corbett looking there towards Delsar. Couldn't find him. The pass has been chopped off. Delsar has it now. Skates back, loses the puck, has support in the form of Graham. Back out towards Fleming. Puck's cleared by Fleming, looking for Hoddick. Delsar's also there. This is very slow moving the puck by the ice, but eventually they get a shot away by Fleming, and Hewitt makes the save. The ice had Devin Crow screaming in from the point area there, all in his own. All it took was a simple raising of the head, Realising that Crow was all on his line at the back, Hewitt wasn't going to get across, and they have a goal. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about vision. That's something. That, that's one really good thing about the Brave. They're looking for, um, yes. for teammates. Face off in the Brave zone. 4:34 left in this one, and one by the Brave. Here is Jaden Lewis. Oh, he's taking a massive hit there. And he gets up. And he'll go, <laughs> the Brave will go the other way through Harvey and he'll get it again. And he'll, loose pass is turned over to Cass Delsar. Here's Clark. Clark trying to work his way through, but he's bumped off the puck. And the hits are starting to fly late here. Diagonal rink wide pass is now down behind the Brave net. Harvey tapped away. And Going coast to coast is Harvey, but he loses control. It goes the other way. There was a chance for the ice, but they couldn't find a friend. Goranson with the sweet pass. 
Goes through two brave players and gets out to a third. But they've turned it over through Fleming, who's been a consistent tonight for the ice. Down into the zone. Icing waved off. Picked up by Goranson. Puck will force out the ice here, but the brave will go the other way through Darcy Flanagan. Now to Lewis. Lewis couldn't get the puck into the zone. That was Jaden. Bailey Cabara plays it in. And talk about kids for the ice here, Cloffy. There's a lot of kids out there for the brave now. As it should be. Um, th this, the game is well and truly won. So now it's a chance even for, for the finals for the Brave to play those fringe players. Get some ice time in the in come finals. They may be important. No, uh, Velez in the high slot area. Had to glove it down. Passes loose. Picked up by Backlick. Chai could kick it forward to himself. Picked up here by Mietnan. Not too long ago was spoken about as one of those kids, but he's grown up a lot as a hockey player. Here's Gavin. You can't refer to him as a kid. Nearly a good touch pass. Secondary shot by Gavin. Tried to find close friend Dave Lewis, but he couldn't find the net. Now the ice go the other way. Two on one opportunity here for the ice. Marcus Wong. And they're saved by Matt Hewitt. Oh, Marcus Wong's eyes lit up. Talking about Jordan Gavin scoring twice in <laughs> two games. Marcus Wong thought he'd do the same. Someone might want to remind some of the Melbourne Ice guys that a 1,000 plus people have paid to watch them play. MJ has been, been hung, hung out, out to dry, dry I'm assuming there. Yes. There is a very good... It's not a bad crowd, crowd particularly in. after last Sunday, which was a disastrous yeah. crowd in the games against the Perth Thunder. A, a lot of more brave fans than I thought would be down here. Yeah, considering if you, you, you might have saved their bickies for next week. But here's a chance now for the Bravers. Hughes stripped of the puck by Carpenter. A couple of former Mustangs players to <laughs> battling against each other. <laughs> That'll end controversially. Well, they both did. They did. I, I know, you know some Melbourne Ice fans may not be reminded of that period. But <laughs> <laughs> that grand final never happened, did it? No, no, we scrubbed all record of yeah. it. Yeah. So fun. Carpenter goes back out towards Webster. They so flipped up into the corner to Hewitt. Uh, a little bit of a miscommunication. That's at the big end. That should be a delay of game penalty for mine. Uh, no, it's saying it came off a tough. stick. Clink bails Huey out there. Yeah, but that was uh, that could have ended up badly for the CBR Braves. Speaking of it, just next to Anders' tweet, I will point out a couple of Brave fans. Anders, do not know if I'm going to laugh or cry over the ice defense game. Oh. It has been bad. It's I, just I, the lack of movement is um, the concern for mine. And it's, unfortunately, I've been banging on about the kids. They've not been the problem. No. The defensive lives are coming from the more experienced players. That's probably the disappointing thing. Kids, you could probably sit down with them and, and work with them. but um, Show them the tape and show them what went wrong and how they can fix it. But your veterans should know. Yeah. Your veterans should know. So now it's Armstrong. Center eyes. He's forced to stop. Getting onto it now will be Carpenter up against Harvey. And now Kabara. That's Tyler Kabara just trying to drive towards the net. To Goranson. Hasn't had a huge amount to do tonight. He's been given a lot of space and time. And he's not the only brave player that's happened to as well. So Hughes. Tight angle shot. Looking for the rebound. Jones made the save. Puck has been uh, stolen there by back league. Powell, he'll cross the blue line. And Powell now behind the net. Assessing his option, he was corralled. Good work there by Harvey. Fleming and Goran to the two number 59s up against each other. Brave looking to clear. Pensino just couldn't keep it in. Up against Mietinen. And the Brave play wins out. Was stripped of the puck. And will assess his options and leave it now for Fleming. Crow to Corbett. Unlucky. Loses an edge. Looking for Crow. Couldn't find him. So Mietin happy just to slow the pace down. Fleming out wide to Crow. Chuck comes in and he will make the save. Protecting the scoreline. He's done well tonight, Hewitt, with what he's had to see. Yeah, he's, and he's tough for goalies at times as well. Um. TSN turning point, the opening <laughs> face-off, absolutely dominating performance by the Braves. Face-offs have never been the Braves' strong point. No, but I think that's a reference because they did score early and have never been threatened after that. They haven't. Here goes Bailey Kabara now with another nosebleed. Gives it off to Jaden Lewis. Can he get a goal late? James sees it wide. Controlled here, and for the second time this season, the CBR Braves shut out the Melbourne Ice.
Matt Hewitt records his second shutout of the year and the Braves second in history. This is the third. I think they've had two. You might be correcting Braves history. There you go, I've ruined your intro. You might. <laughs> uh, but it's Hewitt's second shut, it's full shutout of the year and it's come against the ice. And, and look, that was a dominating performance from go to woe. It was, it of a, was. Of a team though that never hit its high note. It didn't. Well, I think it hit. You've probably seen paying much closer attention to the Braves than I have this season, but it seemed that they hit the, the getting close to high notes. They got the comfortable, particularly in the second period. They just slowed it down, yeah. wrapped it up, and then just put the, you know, basically dug the boots in in the third period once Melbourne Ice came to a complete stop. And the Brave is just too good, even if they were playing within themselves. Like, you're going to present us with these opportunities. We're not going to say no. Two goals were scored with an empty net because the defense didn't work that hard enough. Yeah. And Todd Graham. You can single them out on a couple of those goals in the third period. Yeah, Your you job is to play defense, yeah. not to be 20 meters up into the zone trying to shark a goal when you're 5 1 down. Yeah, but Michael James clearly was Melbourne Ice's best player, but I'm going to look at the positives from Melbourne Ice's perspective. Um, looking at the kids, which is going to be my big thing this weekend, I actually really like the performance of. Um, of, uh, I like Schneider. Schneider, that's yep. what I was thinking off the top of my head. He looked at plenty of energy. Christian Pansino, I'm not sure why he isn't getting more shifts. Every time he's been on, he seems to be looking like he's trying to do something, be creative, bring some energy. Um, I didn't mind Sam Hoddick's game. Nathan Kachi basically carried the weight of uh, first-line defenseman and looked pretty comfortable in that. So they're positives to come out of this game for the Melbourne Ice. It's the kids that actually seem to be doing the right things. It's the veterans at the moment. I, after a long season, an unsuccessful season, I just, maybe they, you know, you, you, you can't, the passion you can't, isn't probably you can't right, blame there, right them there. for clocking it out and clocking I, out. And I'll say that, that at times tonight, the ice veterans clocked out. I, it's a harsh call, but I, I know where it's coming from. I mean, particularly a team that's had so much success when you don't have that success. Um, it would be hard every week. I, I, yeah. I agree. It would the be very hard. The motivation might not be there. To strap on the skates and go, right, let's go play this hockey thing. Because you're so used to doing so well. Yeah, you're normally planning for finals, not you, not um, not Mad Monday. No. But we better wrap things up here. So the CBR break defeat Melbourne Ice 7-0. We'll be back tomorrow for the final game of the uh, regular season of the AHL. My name's Michael Clough, on behalf of Jeff Coop. Well, I know if you're a CBR Brave fan, you enjoyed the game, but I hope you all enjoyed today's <laughs> game, and we'll see you tomorrow.